So functions in Kotlin are top level. So that what that means is that you can define a function anywhere. So here I have my uh, main file. And if I want to declare a function here, that's print hello, I just write it right here. Now by default, in Kotlin, you don't have to define the return type if that return type is void, uh, which in Kotlin is expressed as unit. So in this case, uh, print hello unit and print hello with nothing is exactly the same. If I want to return a value, then I could do, for example, let's do a function add numbers. And in this case, it's returning an int. So I would do return 10. Now, if I want to pass in parameters, similar to Pascal style notation, we use the parameter name. So for example, first int followed by the type. So here I am passing in two parameters of type int, and then I can use these parameters first plus second. Functions can also have a variable number of arguments. So for instance, if instead of two numbers, I want to pass as many as possible, I could just prefix the argument name with var arg. And in this case, it would be numbers return int case, we could just write numbers return sum. When you want to call a function, uh, it's as simple as just calling it. So if we come up here and say, I could write just write print, hello, that will call the function, I can pass in parameters much the same way I can name the parameters. So I can say first equals and second equals. I can change the order of the parameters. So I can say second. And this one would be first. And in case of uh, a variable number of parameters, then I could just do add numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, as many as I want. So we can see that we have overloads even with variable number of arguments. Last but not least, we can also give parameters a default value. So I can say second equals zero. And let's just rename this. So if I say add two numbers, so I can now do add two numbers, one, and now we can see that it works properly because it's not asking for the second one, which defaults to zero.